So I wanted to play a little bit more with the ability of Mathematica to identify particular shapes in movies. So I made a movie of some tennis balls rolling on a whiteboard. I import them, and then the to find out where the circles of yellow are, basically I use this binarize, which turns everything to black and white. And I'm just doing a very simple command, looking for any pixels where the blue component is much less than the red component. So if it's yellow, which is a tennis ball, and you can see the tennis ball down here, you would expect both red and green to be bigger than blue. So I just kind of monkeyed around with this threshold here. Then after you binarize it, you do this component measurement thing where you say, you know, in the binarized version, the black and white version, please find any centroids and equivalent disc radius radii where the radii is bigger than 40 pixels. I figured my tennis balls or something like 50 pixels. And this is just grabbing um, the relative information. So then um, I just show the frame and the um, and then I draw some some circles around so you can see that if I play this let it go a couple more times through that it does a decent job. There's a couple places where it screws up. So right in the middle right this frame here gets a little bit confused. Um, so you know we can monkey with that, but it's really just one frame. But the part that I was really intrigued by was notice here, let me go to this so you can see the, the outer edge. So here's the edge of the data. And the this morphological you know it's still finding a circle. If the circle is shrinking there it loses it. But it's amazing that it actually gets it, you know, when the ball is still, you know, halfway on there. So I think that's pretty cool. And again, playing it through, it, it seems to be able to follow however many balls you can find. 